Show me the ID. It's a military ID. Jack Jessup reporting for booze. You don't look like this guy. This guy looks like a soldier. Hoorah! I'm really excited to go camping with you guys. Why are there so many bags? Stop going through my shit. Sarah? Wait, did you not tell them that we were coming? I was, I'm telling them now, like they're learning of it right now. The movie was hilarious, but at the same time it was painful to watch. Yeah. Like I was so scared to be a dude like, to, <laughs> to wa while watching this film. It's important to be scared to be a man, I think sometimes. Right. Good, you're starting to experience uh, what it's like. I should have been worried if I wasn't, yeah. right? <laughs> what was, it? I mean, when you guys first got, or when you guys first heard about this film, like what really caught your attention? Why did you want to be a part of it? I laughed out loud reading this script. <laughs> and I think that is something that is for sure notable. Yeah. Also, this was the first job that I've ever worked where I got to be with a cast that was my age. Right. And to get to like go run away into the woods and like be with a bunch of like-minded, for the most part, young kids and get to just play ball is like right. such a gift. You know, the funny thing is like, throughout the whole film, I forgot that you guys were high school kids <laughs> until until like, uh -oh. <laughs> no, like I forgot that. Well, no, <laughs> well, no, it's like until you, until you went to uh, the gas station and the guy was like, "What is this, junior high?" And I was like, "Oh shit, they're not college kids. They're high school kids. This movie is extreme for high school kids." <laughs> I go talk to Netflix about this. They don't know we're in high school, guys. For real, this is, uh, no, no, um, that's, that's really nice of you. You're the first person to say I look vaguely manly. Um, no, yeah. It, it was a stash. Yeah, it was, it was. I'm working on that again today. Um, I think, like, what you were asking about earlier, I think the coolest thing about this for me was when I read it. Not, like, I laughed, but also I was like, no one's, no one's done this before. Right. And my next thought was, like, I don't know if anyone should do this. <laughs> and then when I had that thought, I was like, I want to do this. And, yeah, it was, it was definitely worth it. It was hilarious. It was a wild, <laughs> wild, wild ride. So, I mean, what was that first day of set for you guys like? Because, um, obviously, now you know the whole script. And we're not going to be serious about it. You want to, you know, laugh about it throughout the whole time. Like, do you guys remember what that was like? Our first day? I have a, I think one of my favorite memories from this movie is the first day. So on the first day, I'm going to tell the thing. I'm gonna, I, you're here. You know that I know you. I got you. I'm I got tell you. them. Uh, on the first day, Eduardo Franco, uh, our very beautiful uh, leading man, if you will, uh, had a scene with his mother. You know, it's the scene where he's packing the car. Yeah. <laughs> and Eduardo is not afraid to improvise, and Eduardo is not afraid to, to be himself on set, which is great. A very comfortable actor to work with. And he... <laughs> He got told by Jake, I forget what, the, what he told him, but it was basically like, have some fun with it, you know, do something else, man. And Eduardo was like, oh, sure, yeah, for sure, man. And uh, Eduardo shouted some of the most offensive things I've ever heard anyone shout at who's meant to be their mother. He did this very loudly in a residential neighborhood, and I want to be clear here, in Canada, where I don't think it's legal to swear out loud. I don't know. And this is my, one of my first experiences with this guy I'm going to be working with for a month. And he right. was just screaming. And I was watching. And I was like, okay, I'm starting to get the vibe. I was just like eating Cheez-Its. And I was like, this is what today is. All right. And uh, yeah, and it was. just like that for the months to follow. <laughs> so as far as ad-libbing, did you guys, or improvising, did you guys improvise a lot with your scripts? Yes, there was a lot of improv on this movie. I have never worked on a set like that before. I mean, the last job that I was working was a project that was very word perfect, mm -hmm. where writers were very about being on the script and like right. not diverging from what that was. And on this set, that was definitely not the case. Jake gave us so much freedom to kind of do whatever, and Kevin and Matt were really along for the ride and, right. like, gave us a lot of permission to just kind of play ball and see what came. And some of it worked and some of it didn't. And yeah. we just got to, like, try again and keep going. Now, for you, you, you kind of came from a TV series kind of background. This yeah. is, like, your first film. Yeah. Um, so how different was that for you to come into this, you know, big production and, like, kill it basically because you you. you did an awesome job both of you guys did <laughs> thank you i it was really fun definitely very different like i said when i was working on mom the script structure was very important words really matter you're on a time and like the episode is 21 minutes at the end of the day like that's what it is right. so it's really important to stay on your script and be mindful of your words and with a the movie there's a little bit more freedom and we were on location not on a sound stage so we got to like actually see 
see Canada. It was so beautiful and be in the middle of the woods. And I got to be with a young, much younger cast than I'm used to working with, which was so fun to get to have. It was really there. spring break for you. Yeah, it really felt like spring break, like as close to a break as you can get while you're working. Right. So really, really a joy. Right. Now, how would, I mean, were there any specific scenes that you guys felt challenged by? Um, and if so, which toilet, ones were those? The toilet for me. Oh. Uh, that, that, that seemed like a fun one. Yeah, no, it was, it was great when I watched them washing the toilet they got. And I was like, this has not been used before. And they were like, no, 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 we're just making sure. And I was like, what do you mean making sure? It's not been used before. It's just simple. But no, uh, that was, was a tricky one. Yeah. And, uh, Definitely the water for me when we were jumping off the cliff to catch the drone right. was yeah. <laughs> definitely the water for me. I mean, our first day we didn't get to that scene until much later than we had anticipated, and it was really cold. Titanic esque. <laughs> Titanic-esque. Is she alive? Nah, she's fine. She's still there. I think everyone was a little jarred by those circumstances. <laughs> um, but, you know, we made it through, and like, thank God we had some people that were really on my team and like tried to keep me safe because it was a wild ride. Well, from, from watching the film, it seemed like you were the one that got all the stunts. You got all the jumps, <laughs> the explosion, you went flying back backwards my favorite shot was you jumping out of the uh out of the elevator and the old ladies right in the middle in the hospital and i was like she should just play football <laughs> like the, the way you jumped out it was just insane but like what was you know was it your decision to do a lot of these stunts um, I did do a lot of these stunts. I didn't really realize, honestly, when I read the script, I swear, but yeah. when we started doing this film, I really was not prepared for how many stunts was going to be required. <laughs> and I knew she was an athlete, but boy, those stunts were shocking. So <laughs> I really just had to kind of wing it, but it was super fun. I mean, I got my before the acting world was yeah. a part of my story, I was competitive gymnast. Okay, so and that's so why you got this role. It was really fun to kind of get to like play around and do some of these stunts right. and like tap into my that's roots a little. Awesome. So, showed up, they were always like, oh, here she is. So I was glad that they let me try and like get to do a lot of them because right. it was really, really fun. Now, being that, you know, the guys from Workaholics were a part of this project as well, did they, did they help you guys out in any way um, with any of the scenes? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, Blake's in it. Um, Which I wasn't expecting him to be in it. <laughs> I, was, I was actually really surprised to see him in there. I, it, was, it was awesome to work with him. He's a really, really funny, he's a funny fucking guy. Excuse my language, he's a funny flipping guy. Just say whatever you want, we're not in Canada. But uh, no, it was, uh, it, was, uh, it was incredible. And they, they all uh, showed up and I like, you know, in that environment, like we were talking about with the ad-libbing, it was the sort of place where you'd be like standing in crafty, like drinking tea or something, and right. all of a sudden someone would just say a joke out loud, and you're like, that's actually, that's that's funny. And it was that kind of a place, and they, they brought their own very experienced comedic <laughs> minds to it, and it was, yeah, it was, a, it was a hell of a ride, man. It was really funny. Now, what's this whole deal with, with Jeremy and his sister? Like, I, that's... <laughs> what's the deal with that? Like, like <laughs> it was just so, it was just... It was just so awkward. <laughs> like, I like. I, I hope nobody's like that in real life. But like, when you guys, when when you guys had to. <laughs> I think that's what it was in the beginning. It was meant to be like a one-off joke, and then Eduardo was like, "You know what's funny? When I'm very strange, and uh, that's true of everything in his life. And uh, yeah, no, it's I, I some of the things." Times while we were shooting, where they would have jokes between the two of them, and it was excruciatingly difficult to try to keep a straight face and stay in the scene because some of it is just so jarring and odd. Right. Like, you know, the that were said like stained me. Like I would go, I'd be showering, I'd be like, Shh. You can only imagine what's in the B reel. Right. I was I was scared in. <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that. What's in the pre I don't want to see that. Like, oh, we already did, my friend. <laughs> well, I, I heard there's a fight between you and uh, and oh, Sean so that is not over. Yeah, no, I beat the shit out of that Canadian, and like it didn't make the cut of the film. Man. Uh, so I'm bothered. Uh, no, no, it was. Uh, we it was did, too we gruesome. Did. It was. It was wild. I think like they wanted it to be equal. My superior strength and intellect showed itself very early on in the engagement. <laughs> <laughs> well, it got re like yeah, it was it was uh, it was a, he's a very beautiful guy. I don't know if you've seen Strange Love, but I have I, not. No, I felt a strange love for Daniel during <laughs> that uh, during that time. No, no, no. It was uh, it was a really it was a really. It was, I mean, dude, th 
there's a lot of things that like you know like any movie that don't make it right. you know, they end up on cutting room floor not for the scene being bad but just right. the movie goes in a different direction this movie I don't even know what the words are for some of the stuff that didn't make it. Like, we were in the woods, and there was, like, I think three weeks in, we were just sitting outside on the trailers, and I was like, I I don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> like, we just, I some of the jokes. Such long hours and traveling yeah. so much on this movie. Like, all over, it looks like it all took place at, like, one tree. Right, Turns sure. out there's a lot of trees. That they just all look the same. <laughs> and so, we were moving hotels every two, three days. Wow. And, I mean, this sh shoot took us a couple months. So, yeah. there was a lot of traveling. And by the end of it, we were so delusional <laughs> that like i'm so excited i still haven't gotten to see this movie i'm gonna oh, see it tonight I'm gonna see it you guys you guys all did an awesome job <laughs> you guys all did an awesome job now before we close this off like I i'm curious about this chemistry between the two of you like what the hell was going on in the film like you guys like each other you don't like each other like you guys are playing hard to get what's really going on what was what was the story behind that I mean, I think like a lot of high school relationships, it's a little... Yeah, you guys are high school kids again. Yeah, it's a little love-hate, and we're just kind of like testing some boundaries and playing hard to get, and Luke, do you have something to say about this? Yeah, it's not, it's not easy to date gingers, I think. <laughs> um, I wouldn't wish that on anybody, and I think, you know, her, her character just has to deal with that yeah. and that struggle. And also, uh, now that I'm not Donnie, I can say this. Donnie's repellent. Uh, he's a, <laughs> Donnie's a bad person uh, in a way that I hope I'm not, and I don't know what they saw in me that triggered them to be like, yeah, he'd be great at that. But <laughs> like I obviously liked who I played. I spent a month with Donnie, but would I invite him to my house or want my sister to date him? No. And I think if anything, that would be a problem. Yeah, that would be bad. That would be. <laughs> that would definitely be a problem. All right, guys. Well, to wrap this up, for those that are about to watch this movie, why should they go ahead and check out the movie? I think it's the next best thing for Netflix. Oh, but, yeah. What do you guys think? Why Why should they go ahead and watch it? I think it's a good excuse to kick back and have some laughs and see some really strange things. I feel sorry right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're traumatized for I, real. <laughs> I think uh, if you're watching this, then you know what the movie's about. I shouldn't really have to sell you here. A guy cuts his <laughs> off and uh, yeah. It's zany fun. Watch the movie. Give it a thumbs up. The red-haired guy's pretty funny in it. Thanks. Watch our movie. Thanks. Bye. It was just supposed to be camping. Sean, let's go. Yeah. What is your problem? Sean, do you have a boner? What? I don't have a bony. Did you just fart? No, it's a seat. Oh my god, do you have the farts and a boner? I don't have the farts or a boner. One of those is definitely a lie. You're being cock-blocked literally by your own cock. <laughs>